the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with Chief Meteorologist Dale Nelson. Hi everybody, welcome back. Here is your Aztec Chevrolet forecast and our one shoreline sky cam shows the fog rolling in again. It's not going to be as bad tonight as it was last night as we'll have more wind stirring things up and you can see on our uh, first community bank view here downtown across the marina that uh, it is pretty foggy too with 77 degrees high dew point temperature but high wind at 26 miles an hour so that keeps the air stirred up and uh, that'll help out in the fog formation tonight in fact visibilities down at the surface are uh, no lower than four miles at rockport and five at the naval air station but the uh, fog does worsen uh, throughout the night not so much inland as it does along the coast where it is originating and uh, then as you can see here by seven in the morning anywhere from about one to seven miles so yes fog but not too bad except near the coast because of the winds keeping the air stirred up right now 26 miles an hour we had gust of 35 uh, here in town today with temperatures 70 in Port Aransas but 12 degrees warmer than that inland at Hebronville and we're at 77 so again unseasonably mild dew point temperatures way up into the uh, oppressive area there at 70 degrees plus with an evening forecast that calls for temperatures to hold in the 70s and the winds continue between 20 and 20 mile, 25 miles an hour and again that'll make for unseasonably warm here tonight with lows in the upper 60s to low 70s last night was 70 degrees tonight no lower than 71 so very warm humid with fog along the coast satellite and radar show the uh, the jet right in through here running from del rio to west of dallas that's where the severe thunderstorm potential is with our unstable atmosphere we are not included in this and here's the frontal system getting organized it'll be in here tomorrow afternoon followed by this one that will be in here on thursday morning and the combination of the two is going to take us from spring-like temperatures back to late winter in South Texas. Here's the southwesterly flow, the moisture out ahead of it, severe weather uh, happening here. The atmosphere is splitting right here, and where it splits, uh, that's where you get the lift. And uh, that's what's going on now with severe thunderstorms and severe th tornado watches out for much of West Texas because of the unstable nature of this upper level low, which is going to track northeast and not in our direction. Future tracker shows showers in the morning up to the north. Couple showers here around one to two in the afternoon, then it clears out. Maybe a couple hours of nice weather at the beach tomorrow. Then this secondary front comes with a line of showers here on Thursday morning. That pushes through with mild air, and then the cooler air follows here on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with the uh, clouds coming back into the region over the weekend. Your NEC Co-op Energy seven-day forecast, spring-like and 87 and windy uh, initially here tomorrow, but then the winds subside in the afternoon. 62 and 78 Thursday and look at the lows dropping into the 40s here over the weekend highs only in the 60s St. Patty's Day looks just like it would over in Ireland yeah. kind of cool right and cool and wet yeah, yeah. our weather or is damp. trying to be authentic yeah. exactly <laughs> correct well said <laughs>